like for me when, as a mother of three, trying to find some time to myself to rejuvenate, to recharge, to be able to do something for myself, right? So it's funny because as we as we um, raise children, although mine are adults now, um, but as we as we raise children, whether you're male or female or you know a father or mother <clears throat> or even if let's say you're an aunt or uncle or grandparent or friend or whatever if you're raising kids you know that very seldomly do we get time to ourselves right never get time to ourselves so interestingly enough a few years ago one of the things that I did in trying to reinvent myself um, in my undoing what I did was I had decided to make a bucket list and on my bucket list, uh, one of the things that I put on there was to um, get my motorcycle license. And it's something that I've always wanted to do was to ride a motorcycle. Um, and so, of course, you have to get licensed. You have to learn um, the rules and learn how to ride. And it's a skill that, to me, it wasn't that simple. Um, it's very dangerous being on a bike and so forth. So um, at the time, I had decided to take a weekend off work. It was contracted work, so I left lots of money on the table. Um, but um, at the end of the weekend, I did achieve my motorcycle license. So my, I had not mentioned to my daughters that, um, you know, that I was gonna, that I was doing this. It was like a surprise. It was kind of like for me, um, you know, like stolen moments where I can do something for myself and and not letting anybody know. And it's funny because I was being sneaky about it and there's really there was really no reason to be sneaky um, but I still felt there was there was like a thrill that came along with somebody not knowing and I know that it was something good and it was you know I had kind of um, justified it as being a surprise right so in the process of the surprise um, one weekend I think it was on the the first day, uh, one of the guys in one of our exercises, um, he was he was a middle-aged man, and it was also something he had always wanted to do. Well, I don't know what he did, but he gave the bike throttle when he should have been braking, and so he rammed into us. We had already formed into a line uh, after going around the track. We parked, and I was a second bike to the first. He was the tail end. Well, he didn't just hit the bike. He slammed up against every bike along the way. I hopped, hopped off the bike. So anyway, long story short, in the process of lifting the bikes because they had all fallen, I didn't know how to do that the proper way. Um, and I had hurt my wrist. So now I get home, right? And and I don't know, I wasn't going to say anything about my wrist. I was kind of tolerating the pain. But at one point, um, I did something. I was like, ow, you know, my wrist. And um, <laughs> that's how I said it too. I was like, ow, my wrist. And my kid, you know, one of my daughters was like, Shayna, you know, she was like, what do you mean? What happened? I was like, oh, I hurt my wrist and blah, blah, blah. So I lied. Like, to me, that was a lie, right? So lies cover up lies. And that's what happens. One little lie <clears throat> leads to other lies. And I never understood that. My mom, <clears throat> had, you know, used to always tell us, you know, don't hurt, don't lie, you know, blah, 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 don't this, don't that. But with the lying, it was always don't lie. Um, because one lie leads to another and so before you know it you're in you're you're in that much deeper right I had no idea and so anyway so yeah it wasn't the first time I lied um, but I really honestly um, try not to lie I try to be as honest and transparent as I can um, setting the example for people who are around me people that I come in contact with of course my family my kids my loved ones I can to rock But now here's the story. I'm in a little quandary because I kind of quasi set up for this class. Um, it's a kickboxing class that I want to do. And I didn't say anything to anyone. So now, here we go. It's another lie. Not only is it another lie, this morning they're like, so mom, where are you going? I was like, I got to go out. It's like two weeks before Christmas. Don't ask me where I'm going. I have things to do. That was a lie. Um... Ah, so I don't like to lie, guys. Lying is not good. Lying is never good. It makes me anxious, and maybe I'm silly for it. But I lied, and now I don't really, I really don't want to tell them because I was hoping to 
be able to just sneak out the house, do what I gotta do. I'm running some errands. I'm gonna go work over here. I'm gonna do that without them knowing, right? And just like take care of myself. And then at some point they could see, oh shoot, mom's getting fit, you know? Mom, what you doing there? But, and like make it a surprise. Well, shit, no, it's like a flat out lie right now. And here's the worst part of it all. I don't know, I'm not keeping track. I think that this might be video number 12 that I've posted, excluding the vegan one. So way back when, when I first made this channel, I had um, posted some vegan stuff. It was like undoing and changing my diet and so forth. And I deleted them, but I left one. So excluding that video, but all the ones that I've recently been posting, um, I think this might be video number 12. They still don't know, right? So is that lying? No. They knew that I had a YouTube and they knew that I was going to start posting videos to talk to people, share people, you know, share with people my journey and what I go through because it really has been, you know, it's been six years now since I got divorced and I'm single. I'm proud of it, you know, but um, I'm celibately single. So that's the difference because people can be single and still kind of you know, have their little friends with benefits or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Or still date. I don't date. I don't date. I don't, none of that stuff. I'm, I'm just trying to unravel the mess that I have become. Not really a mess per se, but learning how to, learning who I am, right? Because we get lost. We become lost in marriages and in um, raising families, etc. So with all that said and done, the girls knew that I, that they had kept telling me, Mom, you got to do your video. Mom, when are you going to start posting? Mom, when are you going to start doing this? And here it is, video number 12, and they still don't know. So that's not on me that they don't know because I did say I release it to the universe. <laughs> Does that release me from the lie to them directly? Because it's public information now that I'm on my way to this place, you know, to do kickboxing it's out there so if they you know which in a way kind of is brave and bold on my part because now it holds me accountable to the commitment unless I go back and delete the video and blah 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 which I'm not going to do but you get where I'm going with this so I know I went from here and I went all over the place and I want to wrap it back up so the point is as busy as we are as much as we have to do as much curveballs as life throws at us don't forget that you need to find time for yourself don't forget that there's a whole lot of you that this world still needs okay so take care of yourself do what you need to do to be well um of course choosing healthy options right um and i don't know is it a lie i guess it is a lie i was gonna ask you to tell me but I kind of know it's a lie. Um, or can I just call it a surprise? I don't know. It's not mal-intended, but I think it's still a lie. Um, and I don't like lying, but I did release it to the universe. Does that still count? I said I still did made it public here on YouTube. Does that count? They'll find out eventually. They'll know because I'm not good at it. And the funny thing is, is that each one of my daughters like, oh, so where are you going? They don't, oh, so where are you going? It's like, damn, can I have a moment to myself? Just one moment to myself? Crazy girls. All right, guys, take care, keep it real, and love yourself. Bye.